In this video you will learn about uh, how to measure the open circuit voltage and short circuit current of the solar panel. So first of all uh, make a circuit and uh, choose the components that are needed for us. So first of all I would like to uh, pick a Arduino one. I have double click on it and uh, you can see here in the devices. And after that uh, choose a current sensor that is ACS. 712 here uh, there are three models uh, this can measure up to 5 ampere current and this can measure up to 20 ampere current and this can measure up to 30 ampere current so uh, there is there are there are slightly changes in the code while using all of these so I'm picking the uh, 5 volt rating uh, current sensor so double click on it uh, this is also called a Hall effect sensor as well and after that uh, let me choose uh, the resistor double click on it and it will goes here now let me pick the LCD you can choose you can choose any any of one uh, let me choose the 16 cross 2 LCD so I have choose it and uh, pick a cell from here so we can uh, make a solar panel from this with the help of uh, you know solar panel is nothing that uh, that is just a DC a source so I'm picking it and will use it uh, as a solar panel so uh, also choose a MOSFET uh, there are lot of uh, MOSFETs but uh, I would like to choose a IRF 520 you can choose any of the N channel MOSFET but I'm choosing this one double click on it and now first of all I would like to pick the Arduino from here and uh, now pick the LCD now let me interface it with the Arduino so connect all the relevant pins uh, we will have to connect the reset pin, enable pin and uh, D4 to D7 pins so let me connect all of these also power up the LCD and uh, Arduino as well so I'm choosing the power pin and uh, we'll connect with this and also with with the Arduino as well also connect the ground pin with it and also with this as well let it bring it near and this one as well so after that uh, let me uh, make a solar panel so what will I what I will do uh, I have picked the cell and uh, connected some resistor resistance with it so because each solar panel have some resistance internal resistance so it will be uh, I have uh, added the 32 ohm resistor with this and I will uh, this is I am, I am doing this for the 10 watt solar panel uh, its uh, open circuit voltage is 20.9 and the short circuit current is a uh, 0.65 so these values are will exactly produce the uh, 20.9 volt and uh, 0.65 current at uh, short circuit and it will be short circuited so I am making it 21 volt so it will produce the uh, exact uh, 20.9 uh, which will be shown on the meter uh, let me show to you that how from here you can choose the instruments I mean DC volt meter and meter and all of these so let me connect it with this and uh, as Arduino is also connected with it so let me delete this 
otherwise it will not work it will say that put the hex file so let me put some hex empty say, hex file from it and uh, i will put it in this so it will then work with us you can copy from here to there and click on control c copy it put code address in this and then run it so we are just want to check the voltage of the so here you can see 21 uh, let me make it 20.9 exactly you can see 20.9 let me delete it and uh, let me check it with a DC ampere meter. So let me connect it with this and uh, this will be connected with this. Also, uh, whenever you are using the uh, simulation software, you must ground the things, otherwise, it will may uh, show you uh, some error. You can see here 0 0.65 uh, short circuit current. So now it's uh, completed and now consider it uh, as a solar panel I am uh, bringing some wires back from this let me place it here and I am doing and ok so this will there be the positive and this will be the negative terminal of solar panel you can place here some kind of uh, you know box on it and you can write anything with this let me write here solar panel you can change the font size of this let me write it 18 so here you can see the solar panel so here uh, our solar panel is ready and now we will have to measure the current and the voltage of this short circuit current and open circuit voltage of this so uh, first of all I would like to connect the current sensor and uh, the current sensor let me bring it here ok so here are the two pins of uh, uh, the sensors which will be connected with this and uh, here you can see the uh, let me power up this as well connect the ground with the ground pin and uh, the power pin VCC pin with the power V out should be connected with the Arduino analog pins so here I am connecting it to with the A0 so while using the coding I will have to uh, use this A0 uh, for the current measurement so now connect this one with the, this one you can see that this uh, it's connected with the solar panel positive pin uh, you can see here the uh, wire as well but we will uh, so let me complete the circuit then we are going to set the LR, these are as well and now I am using this uh, MOSFET as a switch electronic switch so we will uh, switch we will on this uh, in order to short circuit the solar panel so I am rotating this like this and now connect this with the, this pin connect this with the ground pin and interface this with any of the and digital pin of an analog pin of the uh, Arduino so you will have to on and off this so I'm connecting it with a 7 digital pin 7 of the Arduino and now connect a uh, 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 voltage sensor so we are making the voltage sensor and we will use the voltage divider formula in order to uh, measure the current of uh, voltage of the solar pen so I'm using the divider rule and uh, make this uh, sorry make this 4k 4 kilo ohm and uh, now 
copy this and place here and make it one kilo ohm so what it will do it will divide this all the voltage in a you can see four and plus one five it will divide it in a, a five parts and one parts will be one part of the voltage will be here and the other fourth part of the voltage will be here it will drop a little voltage and will drop the fourth of this so then we will uh, in a formula we will use the uh, these two values in order to find the exact voltage of the solar panel I'm connecting this with this so connect to the positive with this one and then the negative of the solar panel with this one so let me ground it as well in order to avoid any kind of uh, disturbance and uh, from here connect this to the Arduino analog pin so in order to calculate the voltage of this am I of the voltage of the solar panel so here you can see that we have connected uh, the current sensor you can see we will uh, short circuit we will short the uh, solar panel with the help of this electronic switch MOSFET and uh, when it will be you know open circuit uh, then we will calculate the and measure the voltage of the solar panel so it will be the open circuit voltage and while uh, short this uh, with a switch though so it will be a short circuit count now we have to write a code for this let me zoom it hope you can see uh, easily all things let me bring it down a little bit so our circuit is almost completed and uh, now it's time to write a code for it let me save it so I have also already uh, re write a code for it in order to uh, decrease the time and uh, so otherwise it video will be get a lot of time so you here you can see I have added the LCD library code then declare the LCD pin 13 to 8 you can see 13 to 8 connected reset enable d4 d5 and respectively and here I have uh, declared some universal values uh, variables for the current sensor uh, I have uh, used the sensitivity uh, here you can see that uh, we are using the 5 ampere current the Hall effect sensor so if you are using the 20 ampere module then you will have to choose 100 sensitivity if you are uh, using the 30 ampere module then you will have to choose the 66 sensitivity and some values you can see this is the uh, sensor calibration and uh, normally it should be 2500 but uh, now we will have to uh, compare with the manual values uh, which we will uh, measure with the uh, ampere meter so we can um, calibrate this from 2500 to you know uh, 20 or 30 or it may be uh, less than 2500 a little bit so you will have to vary it in order it depends on the uh, nature of the sensor so in my case its calibration is a uh, 2511 and now here I have used the MOSFET pen 7 number as output and we will uh, initially it will be uh, off so I have made it low and then I'll have I declared the LCD pins uh, sorry uh, columns and rows order 16 plus 2 we are using 16 plus 2 LCD and after that here it will measure the voltage how uh, I have uh, declared the sensor value and uh, then it will read the analog pin A1 so A1 is connected to the sensor pins uh, voltage sensor so uh, here you will uh, you know calculate the voltage how you will calculate you will multiply the sensor value with the 5 because uh, Arduino can measure maximum value 5 volt up to 5 volt it can't measure more than 5 and then it will divide uh, uh, 1023 because its uh, uh, resolution is 0 to uh, 1028 23 sorry you can see here from 0 to 
23 and uh, it voltage goes from 0 to 5 volt up and then here I have declared another variable voltage and I have multi whenever the voltage of this you know this resistance is I have multiply with 5 because I have uh, divide is this in a five parts because uh, four parts of the voltage will be drop will be drawn here and one part will be here so both of uh, if you plus both of these so four plus one is five so we will have to multiply it with a five and then i have declared the lcd uh, set cursor it means that uh, zero means its uh, rows uh, columns and its mean its rows so it will start from here it will show up to first line from uh, the beginning and then it will show the voltage then it will show the voltage values from here and uh, at the end it will show the unit of the voltage and uh, now here you can see the current measurement what uh, first of all you will have to turn on the switch you will turn on this switch so it will uh, short the uh, solar panel and uh, in this case when you will short the solar panel uh, the solar panel voltage will become zero but uh, we will have also but we will already have the voltage value before this so it will chart the current delay at 100 milliseconds and then take the analog value from a naught i mean from this sensor then again wait for a 20 100 millisecond and then again turn off the mosfet you will have to short the solar panel for a little and small time don't do that for a long time otherwise it will bound the solar panel or it can damage the wires because at short circuit it draws a maximum value of the current now here is a formula how you can get the voltage from it uh, divide this ADC, DC value uh, by 1024 because it's its maximum range and multiply it to with 5000 because uh, uh, this will uh, convert millivolt to volt because it can uh, drop to 5 volt so it will bring this so it will, it will give us the value in a millivolt so we will convert it to volt and then calculate the current how you will calculate minus voltage minus offset value this is the calibration and then divide it on sensitivity it will uh, calculate the current of the uh, solar panel and then you can see have the set cursor so it means that it will go up to second line of the LCD and it will show the current value then wait for a 2 milli, milli, 2 mil, 20 thousand millisecond it means that sorry 200,000 millisecond it means that 2 second and again it will take another value of the voltage and current so let first of all choose the Arduino Uno from here if you are using Arduino Mega or any one mini anyone you can choose from here but I am using the Arduino no, so I will click on this and then run this wait for a few seconds just to complete this run you can see the done compiling and now copy the hex file of this if you are using the Arduino at the first time then you will it will not show the hex file so what you will have to do uh, bring uh, come here on the preference from file you can choose the preference and then you can see the check check that whether this check is uh, on or not if it is like this then check it and uh, compilation and then click on ok so in my case I have already uh, select this option so copy it from here to there now press ctrl C I have copied it now click uh, edit properties and remove the old errors of this now paste the code and now click on ok now run the code you can save as well now run this so here you can see that uh, the voltage is 20.8 and it almost equal to 20.9 and the current is uh, 0.63 you can see that uh, let me add some analog so add some manual things uh, let me add dc ampere meter so here i will add this in order to we can verify the values and now delete this one so it will be you can bring it down also add the voltage so we can find the voltage values of the solar panel you can see here 
I will use this in a parallel and this and use this ampere meter in a series. So here you can see you can see that uh, ampere of the solar panel is 0 0.65, but here you can see the 63. So what you will have to do? Change the calibration. I have used this calibration is uh, 2511. Let me do it 2500 and run it and it's done. Come here and stop it and again it, you can see it goes to 6.69. So let me bring it down. Uh, what I will have to do? I'm adding this 2507. You can see now the calibration is. Uh, 2507 and the voltage is a 20.8 it almost equal to you can here see 20.8 is the voltage and uh, you can here see 0.65 ampere is the current of the solar panel so in this way you can uh, find the short circuit current measure the short circuit current and open circuit voltage of the solar panel at the same time so you will get the points uh, if there is any issue you can ask in the comment section you can also contact me on a Facebook page and uh, the code of uh, the, cir the, the circuit of this and the code both are link is in the description you can download from here if there is any issue you can ask and you can tell me in the comment section also you can contact me on a Facebook so I will try best to uh, do best for you.